just a different time, man. Got a lot of white people out here, you know. White people fighting for the cause a little bit. See y'all, see what you're doing. Standing on the front lines at the protest, respect. Respect, have you seen that? Some of these protests in America, white people be making a line in front of black people. Get back there, black. <laughs> I'd be like, that's what's up, man. <laughs> got more representation in a lot of, you know, black films. Got a lot more movies capturing what black people went through. That's important, you know. You, 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 know, you know what's fucked up about black struggle movies? We never give the white actors any credit for what they bring to the table in them films. Because <laughs> let's just be straight up. The most important part of any black struggle movie is an evil white actor. You can't, you can't have a black struggle movie unless you have at least one white person that is capturing the venom of how vile it was back in that time. You understand the sacrifice a white actor is making every day to just walk on set and just stare at black people. You are a nigga! Just every fucking day. But you need them because if you don't have that, you don't have the actual feeling of what was happening on that screen, man. The most important, to me, the most important white villain in any civil rights movie, hands down, is a dude named Stan Houston. Stan Houston was the sheriff in the movie Selma. He's the guy who slapped Oprah in front of the courthouse. Do, do you not understand the courage that it took <laughs> this white man to help bring this black pain to the screen, he had to slap the shit out of one of the top three black people of all time. The Beyonce Jesus. And he did it. <laughs> A movie is only as good as the villain. <laughs> 